Hello, Internet. Welcome to yet more coverage of the Steam Next Fest February 2024. I'm playing a lot of Metroidvanias. Some of them have been all right. Some of them have been real surprises. Some of them have been kind of bad if i'm honest i don't like to sugarcoat things but i also don't like to be incredibly mean but some of them have just been bad so far and we're up to game 17 or 18 or whatever on it, the, the the actual episode number will be in the um in the video title i've left this one till quite late on because this is one of the ones that I think people have been hyped about. I've, I've heard people express excitement and expectation for Awaken Astral Blade. But I'm also fairly certain that we didn't we play a much earlier demo of this. And I just didn't think it was very good. Or am I confusing it with, with something else that has got a similar kind of idea behind it i don't know so i've kind of put it off towards the end as as maybe a palate cleanser as maybe as you know I, I can be kind of fresh when i'm approaching this one so that i can give a more honest opinion on it because uh, yeah i don't set out with these videos to trash the the efforts of indie devs i don't that that is not my intention at all i've just found that as i've got older my filter outside of work where you know you can only talk to teenagers in certain ways unless you want to get fired um when it comes to developers i expect them to have a you know a little bit more of a I'm, I'm not a backbone or anything like that i'm not i'm not trying to say that i'm just trying to say that you know i'm dealing with adults here and adults should be able to take honest feedback a lot better than than children do i know that's not the case and I've, I've actually seen and interacted with some developers who who do not have the kind of professional behavior that you would expect for, from you know somebody who wants you to purchase their product but anyway let's uh let's see what this is like we're just going to go on normal but i vaguely recall this being a weird mismatch of things an abnormal fluctuation of carpus energy has been detected in the dark mist rainforest. Team Foxhound has been sent to the area to investigate. Please head to the dark mist rainforest right away. CR 104, Tanya. Good luck, Tanya. That is some interestingly sketchy line arts. Yeah, this is the one with the, the, the kind of slightly weird character model. Uh, uh, oh, the, there's... N it, it automatically heads straight forward. Uh, not head straight forward. It automatically scrolls through the text. I've reached the designated spot at the edge of the darkness rainforest. Carpus Energy Index here is obviously higher than normal. I can feel it. I'm getting ready to explore further as planned. Advanced team discovered the relic of a 500 year old city, Yaka, hidden deep in the darkness rainforest and a royal altar in the city. I believe it could be the Carpus Energy Bursting Point. Collecting data from these energy bursting points is important for Orthon technologies to further research and optimize our use of Carpus Energy. You're my pride, dear Tanya. You're the only one who can complete this quest, so don't let me down. Your arms are transformed with nanomaterials when we optimize your last. Remember, the default weapon is a one handed sword, your preferred weapon. But you can try different weapons later on. Stay safe, protect yourself first, keep in touch. Yes, so this reminded me, assuming that I'm thinking of this the right way, there's a big wibbly thing in the background, I've just realised. This reminded me very much of Vigil, The Longest Night. Now, Vigil, The Longest Night was an interesting one because at first glance, I thought it was a little bit weird and ropey, but it turned out to be one of the best Soulsvanias that I've played and is still right up there on my list of really good games. Uh, I'm getting some screen tearing, which is always really interesting as somebody using a G Sync monitor. That seems to have fixed it. I really need to double check actually whether I've put V Sync back on. In fact, screw it, I'm going to do that now. 
checked. V-Sync is on. Uh, V-Sync. G-Sync is on. So, don't know what the issue is. So, yeah, we've got... I don't know whether this is a 2.5D character or 3D character in a, you know, a 2D world. Um, or if this is kind of spline based like Vigils was. I think this is a 3D character. Which will enable us, uh, uh, us, and by us I mean the developers. It will enable the developers to to change her outfit and hairstyle and all of the other cosmetics much easier than it would be if it was kind of sprite based or anything like that. Ooh, springy. Kit, Kitty, no, let me down. Let me down. Yes. 10 out of 10 game. Kitten can be petted. Apparently, we can evaporate cats with our hand. I don't know what that says about us. I have found a fruit. A moon rainbow fruit increases one's max HP by five points. A fruit that reflects a flowing iridescence in the sunlight with golden flesh and a tart taste. Eating it numbs the lips and teeth, yet it refreshes the mind and has an excellent anti-fatigue effect. I love it when developers put ridiculous amounts of details into their it's a health pickup. Um, right, do we have... A map. Yes, there we go. So this is our map screen. Obviously, as the guy or a guy, I'm not going to say I'm the guy. That would be very presumptuous of me. But as a person who makes maps of video games, obviously, I like to uh, to see what the map is doing. We've got custom markers. We've got somebody going past the house in a really loud way. Um, we've also got kind of default markers there as well. I'm assuming this is an enemy. Combo. I think that was a currency. Jump and dash. Press A to jump. Press B to make Tanya dash for a distance and, and dodge monster attacks. Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay, enemy design is fine. Impact sounds aren't particularly exciting, it has to be said, but it's possible that I've got my volume turned down too low. Uh, there's a tentacle there. Let's kill the tentacle. All tentacles must die. This is very anime after all. We know what tentacles are like in anime. I can't get up there from here. But. Aha! Carpus alloy used to upgrade nano weapon systems. This artificial alloy discovered on the Horus Islands appears to surpass any known technology and is suspected to have ties to Carpus energy. The alloy can be used in certain bionic body parts to enhance their compatibility. And we get a. a wibbly plant thing as well. Wibbly plant thing obviously is very descriptive of me. Professional English teacher and writer. Uh, think that just automatically. That's an interesting background. Now, is that just parallaxed or is that 3D? Actually, this foreground is 3D. Yeah, so this oh. Yeah, this is 2.5D, but it's got a painterly texture over it. After the second and third attacks of a combo sequence, press Y to trigger surge skill. Okay. Ooh. Uh-huh.
When health is low, press up to use a potion to recover 42 HP. Do I need to do this? Is my health low? No, my health is at max. Oh, hello. Ow. There were more mutants in the rainforest than anywhere else on the islands. Sure enough, this is where the carpus energy is concentrated. The plants and animals were exposed to more intense levels of radiation. The rainforest would probably be a quiet and beautiful place if it weren't for these nasty mutants. Hey, ain't that always the way, these nasty mutants? It's right, a, a weird observation. Weird for me. Anyway, um, combat feels like it's got a decent amount of impact you know enemies respond with a, a reasonable kind of flash and kickback and so on and so forth but the sound design is not aiding with that it's it's very kind of <laughs> Right, we've also got some slight weirdness there. So in terms of kind of hitbox, I, I meant to press the dash button then and instead I just did nothing. Um, door open. Bit of aliasing on the... Right, we've got some more stuff. I think that's just shaking as opposed to it's actually going to drop beneath us. But I'm not going to read this because we're, uh, we're kind of tight on time in terms of how much I'm allocating to these different Metrovanias. I like the, uh, uh, the moon in the background. Leaves of Goldthorn increases attack damage by 5%. Is this something that I have to equip? Please go to a rest area to save. Okay, so it's a, it's a kind of a equipable upgrade system. Whoa! Ah! Rest area? Rest, rest points are usually in a dormant state, and only when Tanner is activated will it awaken, allowing you to save game progress and activate talents, equipment, and accessories during rest points. Uh, <laughs> she just falls over. <laughs> okay, so we equip that, and it's it, it's got a, a specific amount of kind of slots. It tells us actually top right hand corner the vigor density. We've got some costumes. Yeah, see, this is why we've got a 3D model. Because it's much easier to reskin and not have to reanimate and re rig things. Consumables. Okay. Talents. Ah, okay. When not down, press B right before touching the ground to trigger fast stands up. So we've got tech ups, we've got witch time. Oh, that's interesting. At the exact moment an enemy dies, press Y to absorb their energy and increase ether drops. Oh, we need to pay for parry as well. Oh, we've got choice. And they're all quite expensive. Um, right, hyper, hyper focus is one and a half seconds. Oh, which am I going to do more? Dodge or parry? I mean, obviously, I'm going to end up with both. What else do we have? Successful fast stand-up grants a hormone buff. What? It makes me more feminine. Increases attack... Uh, because the character's feminine. That was not me making some kind of weird comments. Um, 
A successful fast stand-up allows you to recover 50% of health loss from the last instant of damage taken. And it triggers hyper-focus. These are some interesting... Yeah, extends duration. It increases attack damage. Clears debuffs. Increases attack speed. These are really interesting upgrades. Counter from parry. Double counter if timed correctly. Hormone buff. Clears debuffs. We've also got some universal. Crit chance, ether acquisition, energy acquisition, attack damage with shields. So hormones are clearly going to be an actual thing. Uh, I'm going to try the parry. Three large, startling claw marks are etched into the hard stone wall. Oh, that was a bit of a weird transition. That's probably not quite working right. Etherweed. Ether grass is a fantastic plant that slowly absorbs ether energy and stores it in this huge golden bulb. Okay, so this is where our... It also tells us, weirdly... How much DPS we're doing? Not entirely sure why. Oh yeah, I need to try parrying, don't I? That's not parried. Don't think that actually was parryable. Yeah, it's got that slightly off 2.5D feel about it. Should I be able to get up there? I need a double jump. You can't dodge damage from electric shocks, lasers, or poison. The biggie scorpion. Okay. First boss? Chaos Scorpion! Like that Chaos Scorpion! Just jump into that like a complete spoon. Oh! Didn't get much of a chance. Connection lost. Confirmed dead. Oh dear. Right, let's put us back here. Skip. Mm 
Yeah, we, we don't have a lot that we can do right now. Stray spirits liberated. If this scorpion can mutate with such speed and aggression, there must be an energy cluster nearby. Ah. Is the energy spilling out of this tree root? They're so thick and twisted, I can't find where they begin. It looks like they're drawing energy from beneath the entire island, which means they could be huge. Uh, ability? Double jump! I was expecting maybe a little bit fancier of an animation for that. It's a little bit bland, actually. Especially considering the kind of game type slash genre. Take uh, another look at the map. Yeah, so we've got a fog of war system. We've got... That's a save point? That's got a different symbol over to the right. I feel like I should have like a down attack and stuff. Let's, uh, let's not waste too much time backtracking because the whole point of this series is to experience as much of the demos as you can. Oh, and also because there's a save point right here. Uh... Oh, they've got different. They've got different things. Right, we've got 1200 again. I'm going to get the dodge one this time. Because I suspect, just based on what the game has been like so far, I'm more likely to be kind of dodging things. Ancient hunting totem, scorpion. Did we actually get a thing then from it? No. Um. Yeah, the way she just falls over is really quite weird. Ring fort, ancient watch post. Edge of darkness, rainforest. Starts. Nano Vigor card enhances Vigor density of Nano weapon system by one point. Yes, circuit board made of Nano technology that enhances Vigor density, which can adapt to various sorts of ornaments. Don't know what that means. Okay, that's that's just an elevator and allows us to. Oh, is this? Ah, this is where we were before. But now... We can get up here. Huh. Come back, platform. Oh. <laughs> I'll... Oh dear. Okay, so we are on a uh bit of a time limit here. Oh dear. We've got actually quite a lot of air control. <laughs>
And the platform timings are kind of out of sync as well. No. Yeah, the, the precision of the controls isn't quite where I think it needs to be. Oh, we're definitely not getting up there, are we? However, there's a chest up here. Tactical eyepiece increases damage dealt to enemies' weak points by 5%. Drops us back down there. I assume this is a charm style thing that we can equip. Yeah, does it change on a character? Probably not. We wouldn't be able to tell with this on anyway. All right. Let's go back up. Yeah, I mean, so far, this has been competent. The the issue... No. Well, the, the issue that I've had is that it just feels a little bit janky and imprecise. Are you one of the investigation team of Orthon Technologies? Can you move? Do you have any fatal injuries? My leg was crushed by a stone when I was evacuating, but I won't die for now. Who are you? I'm Tanya, a bionic. <laughs> bionic. Have you come to replace us? What happened to you? Where are the others of the investigation team? Stop pretending you care for us. We encountered a big guy who almost killed us all. There's still three men in my team trapped in the crypt who can't escape. They're so unlucky having such an incompetent commander like me. <laughs> I don't care, but I will help you find them. Hmm. <laughs> Bionic. Okay. Casual racism. Ah, yes. We've got a little... It doesn't look like it heads down there. Um, we've got a little bit of a weird kind of style mismatch. Yeah, if you look at that robots, and then you look at the surroundings, which have got a lot of layers of parallax, by the way, uh, and then you look at us, it's like these things don't quite seem like they match. And I think that might have been something that I said previously as well, assuming this is the game. What the... Oops. Right, that's uh, a one-way wall. Oh, let's try. Right. Uh, let's put... Block. To show that it is blocks. That makes sense, right? little bugs all over the place and I hadn't even noticed. Oh, because that releases them. Okay. Oh, that's spikes. Uh, well. I thought this was going to hurt, but it doesn't. You can't die. Yes, I know this. Wuthering Crypt. It does seem like we're, we're getting just kind of random. Oh, we have a mini-map. That's not a mini-map. That's not a mini-map at all. Press R to open the map. Yeah, a mini map is a map that's on the screen when in the game area, and th that is most certainly not that.
Moon Rainbow Fruits. A lot of enemies at once. I've not used any of the fancy... Fancy moves at all, have I? I've completely forgotten about them. See if I can remember to use them because they're probably quite useful. It's got a very particular type of level design, this very vertical, very uh, full of blind drops. Ow. I think that maybe measures the amount of stuff that it's going to give you based on how much DPS you do. So if you get good, you do more damage. Probably. Please view the menu. Do I right now? Alright, we've got 1,800 talents. Uh, uh, uh. Get that. Everything gets quite expensive. Let's get all the basics. Being able to tech up is probably a good idea. Poet creature. Oh, that's a. Uh, that's a drop. Oh yeah, I need to try the uh, the hyper focus thing, don't I? Right, let's try that. Okay, that doesn't seem to work on them. We're going to, going to work on melee enemies. Or the nano vigory thing. Right, you guys. Okay, guess I was too slow there. Yeah, the fact that there's two of them at once. <coughs> Excuse me. Sneezy McSneezy Gamer today. Oh, right. Right, do I need to hit the dash when he flashes red? No. Off to it. Okay, that was the fancy thing, I think. That's the witch time. It's interesting because that automatically goes into the Y combo based on how we've it was a cool effect but yeah if I can get that down then I can get myself a load more uh, load more currency ah one of the, the injured dudes
Claw marks from a large animal. Ahmed. Okay. So we found... One guy. A maiden and the white wolf. I, I, I don't... I assume that the slowdown is intended. Nice car. Eternal heritage. Alien crystal can react with a specific water source. Is that a key item? Okay. Yeah, Th this is doing enough right right now for, for for me to say yeah yeah this ain't bad at all. Um, I still think there's a little bit of work to do in terms of the kind of the the, the precision. It feels a lot like Vigil, but not Souls like so far. A lot of claw marks down here, I'm noting. I I'm trying to see if I can find this boss. Because I assume it's going to be a an epic fight of epic proportions. This is just back where we were, isn't it? Wrong button. Isn't it? No, maybe not. I'm guessing the boss is down here. Oh! We got some wibbles. Leg, le like, yes. Okay, that was the parry, I think. That's actually a little bit too easy to, uh... Yeah. This guy's actually pretty easy to avoid the attacks of. And energy is fully charged. Yes. Ultimate skill used. Oh, phase two. Ah. Okay, that's more like it. Ow. Okay.
yeah okay I, I i assume we have to do this all again yes so while he is quite easy in his first phase He's got quite a lot of HP. I'm really unsure when I'm supposed to be hitting. Is res one meaning that he's he's resistant to the damage that we're doing? Ah, yes. So we hit, we have to hit the eye thing. And that does a lot more damage to him. Ow. 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 Okay, I got stuck in his hitbox then. Yeah, this is quite a long phase considering there's a much harder second phase. Well, harder hitting, anyway. Right, what am I supposed to do about that? Is it just a knockback or am I taking damage? Well, I can't tell because I can't afford to look at the... He's got... I think... If you know, sorry. Yeah, we are taking damage from that. And that's just going to kill us. That feels really shitty, frankly. The fact that we can die to an AoE that I don't think we can avoid. Bit of a slog. Ow. Yep, 
Yeah, so far, each time I've hit witch time, it has been just pure luck. Uh, there we go. might be able to dash through it. Not like that, obviously, but... So he's got a he's got a tell for it. Nice. There we go. Doable, just a little bit sloggy. Ah, it's been five hundred years. Finally, I'm free. A deadly voice, Princess Grace. Allow me, let let yes, to accompany you. Could it be that this giant wolf is been from this crap? I should continue searching. Look for the altar of the royal city. Interesting. No. Oh, what's with the wibbly stuff in the background? Uh, I'm surprised no thing acquired for that. Ah, that's because that's the end of the demo. No. Oh, I feel like. I feel like that was better than when I last tried it. But I'm just gonna check. See, I don't have I don't have a video on my channel about this game. So it is possible that this is one that I played just some other time, not as part of any kind of next fest. And therefore, I, I, I don't have anything recorded for it. It's... It's all right, actually. It's all right. It certainly feels better, I think, than when I last tried it. Um, But I do not remember when that was. It's certainly been in development for a while. Let's take a look at the old uh, Steam page. Weave your own story in this dark fairy tale in the mysterious ancient. So you can you can tell that I've been it's I've already wish listed and stuff. Is there any chance of survival in the darkest and desperate place? The translation still needs a little bit of work. Endless array of alienated that mean that means mutated creatures. Betrayal, exploitation, lies. The world reveals its true hypocrisy and its hideousness. Ancient God reveals themselves in the darkness. Can the fearless maiden be on a mission of redemption? A wide range of weapon combinations. Would have been nice if we got a different weapon to try out during that. Longsword, a tentacle. Tentacle gameplay confirmed. With giant hammer. Wide variety of items, special skills. Rich, part, uh, rich plot even, various endings. Diverse and unique costumes. See, this is why it's, it's that particular 3D style. A new and interesting way to play don't want to waste time on the reload don't remember where you last time the map is designed to save tanya the most time in exploring and the interactive system on the startup screen will alert the players to the progress of the game Th that is not what that means 
Tanya will summarize the shortcomings of the last... No, Tanya will summarize the events of the last play session, I think. Or, no, summarize the shortcomings of the last game in kind words. Maybe she'll just say, oh, you sucked last time. Here's what really happened. She will accompany you. And together, we will change the face of the world. Yeah, pronoun usage is all over the place. But, but whatever. You know, I, that was... That was all right. That was all right. That that feels now like something that I could say, yeah, I'm, I'm actually interested in playing more of this and seeing where it is going. Whereas I'm pretty certain the last time I played this, and I couldn't tell you when it was, um, it was very much a kind of, not not so much a pass, but uh, this needs more time to cook. It, it's clearly had more time to cook because it's got to have been at least 12 months since i last played this demo wise it's clearly had more time to cook and it is now starting to simmer uh it still is a little bit of work in terms of its precision you know it's, it's still got that slightly early vigil the longest night feel to it in terms of you know grabbing ledges and so on and so forth it's not quite there but vigil was able to pull it around let's hope awaken astral blade can do so as well still keeping an eye on this we'll uh We'll update you all, I suppose, as and when there are new developments and a release date and stuff, because I, I think this one's going to be pretty popular. I think I said that at the start as well, that there was some hype for this, but it, I didn't have any. I, I'm, I'm still not hyped, hyped. But it's like I'm, I'm no longer thinking, oh, you know, the next time a new demo's out, I need to put it off. You know, it's, it's, there's enough here for me to say, yeah, next time another demo comes out, I'll, I'll play it fairly straight after, as opposed to leaving it till... 16 games in or whatever I've, however many it's been for this awaken astral blades let me know your thoughts on this down below have you tried it for yourself does it feel ever so slightly off in terms of its collision and grabbing and stuff what do you think of the plots how many times did it take you to defeat, defeat that boss was it a first timer for most people or do i just suck probably just suck thank you for watching Join me next time for more Next Fest content. We've still got a, a small number of game demos left to try. Some of the bigger ones, name wise, coming up soon. Fiddle Pip! Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing? Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio!